guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is take this light neutral shade and we're gonna sweep this through the crease. This is going to be our transition shade. So just sweep this through the crease. It doesn't have to be anything precise. We're just laying down the map so that all of our shadows will blend easily. This is going to be a super blending look. So it's going to take a little bit of extra time. So allow yourself some time because you have to make sure everything is blended seamlessly. So next we're going in with this a little bit deeper, more warm camel tone. And we are going to, that sounded like camel toe, I'm sorry, camel tone. Wow. We're going to put this in the crease and just kind of go over what we did before. Again, just to help deepen stuff. And then we are going to mix this with the black color and we're going to kind of do a halo effect. We're going to go for the outer V and then the outer inner, outer V and then the inner part of your eye. I literally cannot talk. I've had the worst day with editing, so please forgive me. So we're just going to kind of apply this through the crease and then on the inside and outside of your lid and just keep blending it through. You can see me kind of packing and then blending. So pack a little bit on. You can go in with your bigger brush as well like I am right here and just continue to blend it out. It's just the easiest way because it's really going to make it look seamless and make it look nice. Otherwise you can have some choppiness and patchiness and I find that black is one of the hardest colors to work with so really take your time. So next we're going in with this blue shade and we are going to apply this to the lid. I sprayed my blush, my blush, my brush with MAC Fix Plus just to make it more vibrant and you can see me pulling it a little bit higher than my actual fold or crease because it's going to blend better and when you look down it's going to look better. I was kind of having some trouble with having my hooded eyes and only applying it to the lid. It just looked kind of weird. So pull it up a little bit and then you can see me blending that black through the crease and it'll all kind of tie together. So it's looking really patchy right now, but again, it's just gonna take a lot of time making sure that everything is blended. So keep kind of packing on more black and then we're just gonna take the bigger brush and keep sweeping it back and forth until we feel like everything is seamless and it is time consuming, but it'll be really beautiful in the end. After you're done blending, just take that blue and pack a little bit more on the lid just to get the vibrancy back. And then we're going in and doing a winged liner. You don't have to do a winged liner or any liner at all, but I just chose to in this look. So I'm using my Artist of Makeup liner pen. I'm obsessed with this. I will be talking about it in favorites to come. It's just really easy. So if you're a beginner, I would suggest this. And then I'm going in with Violet Boss Lashes. I will link the exact ones down below. We're just going to apply these as usual. And then we are going to move on to concealer. So I am going to be using my Urban Decay Concealer and I'm also using the Giorgio Armani Corrector and I hold this in a recent video and this is the first time I'm using it on camera but I really like the effect that it gave. It did brighten up my under eye area so I'm just going to apply my concealer and then you can see me applying the Giorgio Armani on top of it just a little bit. I'm not really sure how to use it yet so if you've used it or if you have a method comment down below but I just mixed them essentially and then spraying my Beauty Blender with my Ofra spray and then we are going to go in and blend out that concealer. So now I'm going to do some cream contouring. I absolutely love the Morphe concealer palettes for this and I'm just going to apply it to my forehead and then also just kind of on my hollows of my cheeks basically for a contour. So just apply this with any kind of stippling brush or you could use just any brush you have. I wasn't bring, being really precise with this. And we're just going to blend it out. You can use the brush as you see me doing here but then I grabbed my Real Techniques uh, Beauty Blender. I do like this. I've been trying it. I don't know if I like it better than the original but I feel like you can use it and work with it if you're on a budget. So I'm just going to blend that out with my sponge and make sure that everything is kind of nice and blended. And then also going in and using this to contour my nose. You can use any brush you have on hand. And then just I'm using my Luxie Beauty brush, which I love for my nose contour. So I'm just going to blend that out. And then when you're done blending out everything, we're going to go in and set our foundation. You definitely want to set your concealer and your foundation if you're looking for long wear and you want to prevent creasing. So I'm applying some secret brightening powder underneath my eyes here, and then I am going to let it bake. Um, so I'm just going to apply it pretty heavily, just let it kind of sit on any area that I really want to highlight. 
and that'll just make it look really bright. And then I'm using a little bit underneath my contour just to set that and clean up my contour. You can also use um, it heavily underneath there to kind of brighten up underneath there, but I felt like it was okay this time, I didn't need to. So now I'm going in with my Benefit Hoola Bronzer and I'm just going to set that contour, basically lightly go over it. And again, just putting a powder on top of a liquid will make it set. And so now I'm going to wipe away all of that powder underneath my eyes and basically you can see how brightened it is and it just makes you look really fresh and awake. So now I'm going in with my blush. I can't remember exactly the name, I will link it down below. It's a MAC blush and I'm just going to put it on. This is like a peachy kind of corally color I would say. And then after that I'm gonna go in with this camel color again and I'm gonna sweep this on my lower lash line and just continue to sweep it until you feel like the intensity is enough. In hindsight, I wish I would have smoked this way out and I always do that. I feel like in person it looks okay, but then when I see film, I'm like, oh, I could have really smoked it out more. So I'm taking the blue color and I'm going to kind of mix that in and just tie the look together. So sweep a little bit of that underneath your lower lash line as well and just continue until you feel like it's intense enough. I just really wish I would have went a little bit heavier, actually a lot of it heavier, but you always learn when you watch your footage. It just looks so different than what I thought it looked like in person. So now I'm taking this light matte color and I'm going to use this just to highlight my brow bone. I really don't highlight my brow bone like ever, but I just decided to for some reason in this video. So now I'm taking my Marc Jacobs liner and I'm going to apply this to my waterline and I love this liner. This liner stays all day and it's definitely worth the money and you can see me kind of smudging it out below my waterline. And I'm going in with this Sephora glitter liner and I'm going to apply this to the inside of my lower lash line. I'm not really going to go heavy across the whole bottom lash line but just really like kind of on the inside to the middle and it's just like a subtle effect. Now I'm going in with my lip stain. This is from eBay and I love these. You just apply them and you let them sit for five minutes. And you can either wipe them off or peel them. I wipe them just because it's easier. But these last longer than any lip stain I've ever tried. So once you're done with that, I am going to line my lips. I've been using this Pro Longwear pencil from MAC and I've been absolutely loving it. I will link the color down below. And then I'm going in with some lipstick. I'm going to be using Kat Von D Noble today. This is just like a nice peachy nude color. And then on top of that, I'm going to use Fortune Cookie Butter Gloss from NYX, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I tried to play with the color in the palette, so let me know what you think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!